Second, we'll do an exercise using the pinky on the C chord. And you'll see that's gonna be on the first string, third fret, and then it can move over to the second string and allow us to play that first string open then. And we, when we lift that up, we have that C on the second string. So that's going to be together with the bass. We'll just go back and forth between five and four. Let's do that two more times. Now we'll go back and forth between that sixth string and the bass. Okay, same thing. So you see when that pinky goes on the second string, the bass moves over at the same time. One more time. Okay, let's take a look and see what happens when we move the pinky over one more to that third fret. Then we get a C seventh chord. So uh, let's do that. Now, since we have this, we can actually lift up the index finger. That gives us a nice little lick. Let's do that. So then, you notice we're hitting that second string twice and first open and then on the first fret with a C. Do it together just with a five and four. Now we'll add this alternating bass. So we're starting on that G in the bass. Let's do that move just a little slower because we've got to move this one. And then you see this anticipates it. So we actually have to be sure to get this finger in place even before the third finger. 